victory tonight for dozens of retail employees who had their cars towed this month and turned mm -hmm. to seven on your side. Well, it turns out some of the mall parking lots at Garden State Plaza were off limits to employees who got stuck with hefty fines. Wow, Nina Pineda here with her investigation. Hi, Nina. And we got an earful from employees who claimed they had no idea why they got towed while working their shifts. After hitting roadblocks with mall management, we made a big discovery, one that led to Bergen County Consumer Affairs taking action, saying the largest mall in New Jersey violated the law with an unfair and illegal policy. What did you think? I thought it was stolen. <laughs> that was Stephanie Masfest's reaction when after her shift at Michael Kors, her car vanished from the Garden State Plaza lot. I actually have the OnStar app, so we tracked my car and it wasn't in Garden State Plaza. She tracked the Chevy here and learned it was towed. $150 is nothing to them, but to the employees, it's, it's a big deal. Stephanie was one of 48 mall workers targeted and towed by retail management giant Westfield because the lot she says she's parked in for seven years as a part-time employee is for customers only. I didn't know about it until my car was towed. The mall manager says after issuing memos to all store managers with maps showing employee lots, violators were watched on security cameras, then towed. I completely feel violated. It cost me $100. This minimum wage earning student and Starbucks barista also had his car hauled away. I just feel like this should have been at least a first offense, like, you know, a warning. Damon, like Stephanie, said he knew nothing about employee parking rules, so we took a spin around Garden State Plaza and found no warning signs anywhere employees could be towed. We pointed that out to mall managers, but Westfield refused to reimburse tow victims. A week and a half later, look what we found. Warning signs everywhere. Here's the garage where Stephanie parked before and after. Here's the lot near Best Buy before and after. They're everywhere now, and there was nothing before. New Jersey's Predatory Towing Act makes it against the law to tow off private property unless signs are posted. Westfield had no warning signs when it towed employees. And the new signs it put up after we got involved are too small. Three by three feet's the law. These are only 12 by 18. Still, Westfield said it wouldn't reimburse employees. I think they're really cowardly, honestly, because they're not stepping up. Well, guess who stepped up huge Bergen County Consumer Affairs after investigators found that Westfield Corp violated four laws in the Consumer Fraud Act. Just hours ago, we learned County Exec Jim Tedesco brokered a deal, restitution, Westfield Corp will go. pay back all 48 employees who were towed, plus they had to put up new signs compliant with the law before Christmas. And they need to get the sizing right on those signs, too, while oh, they're at it. Cow. Way to go, Nina. Yeah. Way to go. <laughs> oh, my. Okay. What a story. Thanks, Nina. Thanks, Nina.